psalm starts out. And then instantly look at the glory. Look at verse one. No matter how great the onslaught is against him, though he could have remained horizontal and kept his eyes fixed on Absalom, he could have stayed horizontal and looked at the wilderness he's living in instead of the throne room. David says, oh no, I'm, go I'm going vertical. Look what he says. You are my God. See, gang, when we encounter the adversities of life, one of the facts that we know is that God always holds on to us. But whether we hold on to God or not is an elective course. We can stay horizontal and lose sight of God. We have to make the choice of the will to see past what is coming against us to the God who is sitting on his throne. And that is what David does. He says, though I am alone in this desert, yet I am not alone. You see, in those trauma times of life, we can feel so alone, can't we? We can feel like there's no one out there that gets us. Even the one we're married to when we're going through a trauma time. We get this feeling they really don't get us. And then we start to cry out, is there anyone out there that gets us? And the answer is yes. Asaph said it, Psalm 73. Who do I have in heaven but you, O oh God? And then what did he say? Who do I have on earth but you, O oh God? You get me. <laughs>